Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog video. And this time it's from when I was a judge at Copenhagen Sakura Festival. JPopCon was hosting a craftsmanship competition at the Sakura Festival. And they had asked Clumsy Kitty and I if we wanted to be judges at this competition. So the reason why Anna and I was chosen to be judges for this competition was because we won judges' favorite at uh, J-Pop Con's uh, cosplay competition earlier this year. And if you're interested in seeing our performance, I have it on my channel, so I will link it for you guys. But yeah, J-Pop Con, they contacted us and asked if we could be judges. And uh, this was the first time, both for me and Anna, that we were judges uh, at a cosplay competition. So we were so honored and so excited to, uh, to be that. As you might be able to see, we were a little bit stressed before leaving because we had a little drive to Copenhagen and we had to be there before 11.40. Luckily, we were able to find a parking spot nearby, so we were able to be there almost on time. Yes, let's go, let's go. I think we got everything. <laughs> let's be in action. Finding where we had to meet up was a little bit chaotic, as you might be able to see on the clips that there was quite a lot of people here. But we were able to find it and the competition was also running a little bit late, so everything was fine. We quickly got the last of our cosplays on and then we could start the judging. So in total there was 8 participants and they were all so passionate about their cosplays. You could really tell that they had put a lot of effort and there was a lot of love for their characters in them. There was also two of my own students who was competing in this competition. So that of course made me so proud. It was so fun trying to be a judge because I have only tried to be on the other side and being judged. So I really tried to be as friendly and positive as I could because I know that for some of them it was their first cosplay or first time competing in a competition. So I know how nervous and intense that can feel. And I really want everyone to feel encouraged to compete in other competitions. But everyone got about 5 to 10 minutes to tell about their cosplay and how they made it. During which we judges would uh, take notes. And when everyone had showed their cosplay, we were discussing all together who should have the third, second and first place. Which I can tell you guys is very hard because you need to decide if you are looking at the like overall finish or how many elements they have. So it's actually quite difficult to judge a cosplay. But after all the judging, we were standing in line to get on stage and show everyone else the cosplays. Welcome to my face. Okay, so I asked one of my friends to film while I was on stage, but my phone ran out of memory space. So there are no recordings of me actually being a judge. But I went on YouTube and found uh, a channel called where to go who had filmed most of the cosplay competition. So I kindly asked if I could borrow some of their footage, which luckily they said I could. So a huge thanks to them. After we judges was introduced on the stage, then all of the contestants one by one would come on stage and pose and show their cosplays off. But everyone did it so well. It's very nerve-wracking to let other people come up close and judge your cosplay, which you had spent many hours and hard work on. So everyone was so brave for competing in this competition. The character was very good. We used different techniques and it had a very clean look. So. For our second place is Cloud. 
And lastly, we judges would announce who won. And I was so proud because one of my students won second place. I have taught him a lot, but he is also very talented and been working so hard on this cosplay. After the show, we talked a little bit with Trine, who was the other judge. And I mean, she's a sweetheart and she is so talented and so hardworking on her cosplay. So please go check out her Instagram and other social medias because she really deserves all the love she can get. If you want to see the whole cosplay competition, you can go to where to Go's channel and watch all of it over there. After the competition, we get to say hi to some of our friends and then the madness of taking pictures started. I have never in my life gotten to take so many pictures with people. It was insane. I don't know how many people, but like almost since we got off stage, we just took pictures with people. Everyone was so sweet and so excited for our cosplays and it felt so overwhelming with people being so positive and so sweet. First cut a break. How are you, how are you uh, doing? Are you holding up? Um, yes, I'm holding up, but the coffee sure holds. Mm. It's, it's, been, it's been wild. Yeah? It's been, yeah, how's been the experience of being your first judge job? <laughs> Imposter syndrome. But I think we did. Yeah, I think it was a very nice experience. <laughs> Got all this stuff. Uh, creative director. Okay, <laughs> package. <laughs> It's a little tip for all the cosplay photographers out there. It's so nice when you show the pictures as you're taking them to the cosplayers because we have no idea what's going on behind the camera. And as I said earlier, so many people came up and took pictures with us. So we tried to take some pictures for ourselves, but we had to take breaks in between for people to come up and take pictures with us. I have noticed that when you go to a convention, of course people will take pictures and some will come up and give you compliments. But if you go to an event where it's not people who are used to cosplayers, the amount of compliments and people who want to take pictures and it's like insane. It's, it's so much bigger. People are so much more likely to come up and talk to you and are being so nice about your cosplay. Again, as I said, it was so overwhelming with the compliments. I mean, I felt so happy after this day. I, I can't even describe how amazing it was to talk to all of these people. 
At this point it was almost five and we have taken a lot of pictures for ourselves and with photographers and overall we were just very tired and wanted to get home. I am so tired. I am. I feel, feel exhausted. Yes, let's go home. So many. Um, so many inputs. I don't think I have been taking so many pictures no. like ever in my life. No. no. That was, I've never tried anything like this. Yes, yeah, quite I overwhelming. Felt, I felt kind of like a celebrity because it just kept coming. <laughs> yeah, and people were so nice and yeah, so sweet and complimented. The so cosplay. So sweet to us. Yeah. Telling us how pretty our cosplays are. And yeah, so it has been a lot of good experiences and I would like to do it again. Yeah. Yes, but now I would like to go home and wear comfort clothes and, and eat, eat snacks. Eat some snacks. Eat some snacks. Drink something nice. Watch a stupid show. Oh, I have some wine. Oh, no, I don't. But <laughs> I could buy them. Or a little beer. Or yeah, I think I think today calls for a little beer. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's go home. Let's go home. We just came back home. I dropped off um, Anna, uh, who was uh, the Vi uh, at the station, and then we drove a long way home from Copenhagen. So <laughs> I'm so tired right now, but I just wanted to finish uh, this vlog uh, by just talking a little bit about what happened today, because I think today was an incredible day. I am so tired, but it was such a great um, day. Um, when you go to a convention, of course, people um, come up and are uh, very nice and want to take picture pictures. But when you go to somewhere where it's not people who are used to um, seeing cosplayers, they are like incredible sweet. We got so many compliments and so many people wanted to take pictures with us, which was just like uh, the biggest compliment. So I felt quite overwhelmed with how sweet and positive people were. And um, I know it came is a popular seri series, um, but still it was so nice to see how many who really enjoyed our cosplays. So that in itself was amazing. And then trying to be a judge for the first time was so nice being on the other side instead of uh, um, being a contestant in a craftsmanship to actually uh, being able to ask questions and then I kind of understood okay what is it uh, what would actually be nice that you tell when you are uh, in judging um, so maybe I'll make a video about um, competing in the cosplay and um, perhaps a little bit about what's what to do and what to say. Uh, maybe I'll make that. Um, but again, being on stage, there were so many people watching the, the cosplay show. It was like huge, but people were so nice and uh, applauding. And one of my students uh, won second place, which I was, uh, of course, happy about. I, uh, I told him a lot of uh, good stuff, so it was really nice. Uh, to see both him and one of my other students who competed that they had a nice first experience competing um, in cosplay. So overall it's been an incredible day. I am so happy and I really want to get out of my cosplay. I just threw over some, some clothes because it's been very nice weather today, but it's Denmark so it's been also cold and jinx um, it's not the best cosplay for that. Um, also, some people saw us at JPopCon with our cosplay performance and told us that they enjoyed it very much. So that's, I mean, I feel incredible overwhelmed with how sweet and positive people have been today. Um, 
so thank you so much to everyone who came over and uh, talked or took a picture or gave us a compliment thank you so much and um yeah with that i think i'm gonna end this vlog here with my first time trying to be a judge in a cosplay craftsmanship and um, going to a sakura festival so um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope to see you in the in the next one so um bye for now we're gonna take a shower and eat some dinner bye Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't be shy to give it a like. And in case you are interested in our cosplay performance, I have linked it right there for you. And if you like this kind of content, I will be planning to make more like this in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. Until then, bye.